My name is Gabrielle Jibault. I'm an ESL teacher in the Granby City uh, for the Commission Scolaire de Val d'Essert. I teach grades one, two, grade six, and to students that are, you know, francophone, so their level is uh, beginner to average with a few bilingual students. Uh, I use a lot of technology in my classroom. Uh, I'm quite at ease using the smart board, ICT, the notebook uh, applications. Uh, I use interactive games as, like Jeopardy to boost the motivation for the students. Uh, I'm quite at ease using the smart board as well. Uh, my teaching style is dynamic. I try to make the English class fun so the kids are want to come to English, which you know, sometimes we always hear the, oh, I don't, not English. So I try to change that up and make it a, yay, we got English today. And I try to make it so that the students learn autonomy so they don't come to me always asking, they, cert, they look through everything, their strategies to resources and things. Uh, at my school, I, we have 24 laptops and those laptops are nine years old. Um, they are still proficient though, they will be able to use them and create the PowerPoints that we need. Um, and we also just received 10 iPads in our school, so next year I will be using those iPads. I was honored to be a Canadian House volunteer for the Pyeongchang Olympic Games, so I wanted my students to follow along with me, so I created this a unit so that the kids could know the athletes better that they're going to see on TV and that way I can share also what I'm doing there. Uh, I also wanted them to reinvest from the text what they learned and then use it in uh, the worksheets and create a PowerPoint using that information they got from the text. Before we did your PowerPoints, you guys did started your PowerPoints, you got to do your title slide. All right, and then you had some portions of the slides. So you have one on the team. Let's say Tessa, she has a teammate, Scott. You got the medals and information on each athlete, yes? Right? Now, the, today you are going to continue on your PowerPoints, get to the point where you are going to be recording yourself, talking, on your com the computer to animate and then make this interactive, right? For this information, we are going to use what is called mix. So once you're on PowerPoint, you're gonna open it, go all the way to here where it says mix. You're gonna click it, then you're going to go to record the slide you're going to click it. It's going to bring you to this. Right? It looks fancy, but you're okay. Here is going to be the microphone where it says so it can hear you. So if it's, say, it's moving like this, the uh, microphone is working. Okay. Once you want to record, let's say you're on your title slide, and you want to record something, you're going to click here. So you're going to click it. Then you're going to start to say something, information. You're going to say, this is Tessa Virtue. Once you're done, you press a stop. Good? Yes, it's because I already recorded. Then you go to the next slide. Once you want to record on this slide, same thing. You record. Ah, her teammate is Scott Moyer. And you stop. Okay? Then so on and so forth. If you make a mistake and you want to change, modify your slide, you are going to click here. There's the two lines. And you're going to say delete. Then you're going to start again. If it's only on this slide, so you don't have to delete everything because it goes by slide by slide. Once you're done with your whole recording, you play the play button and it's going to play you what you did. 
With this unit, what I found was that my students were able to take more risks whenever they were just recording their voices because they weren't scared. They were two by two, so there wasn't the aspect of everybody in the classroom hearing them. They were also able to listen back to themselves, so they're like, ooh, that's not good, so they were self-evaluating themselves. Uh, I also saw that they were more motivated to work and complete the task and they were helping each other like come on go go we can do this which to me was number one a plus oh after this information for yeah. um, uh, age what is this this uh, montreal quebec Yes. Me. Yes. And after you say, "Yes, I'm skating." And I'm skating. Skating. Oops. This is skating. 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 Do we? Me. I'm just a man. Tessa Vertu. Figure skating. Okay, it's okay. Uh, an added value to this project was that it was meaningful to the students because there were, it's like real life events, real life people, and real life athletes. So they got to actually follow along and just see, okay, oh, I'm researching on Tessa Virtue. Oh, she's doing this right now. And then she can follow along what is happening. And another thing is the students knowing that I'm going to send it to these athletes got them really motivated and like, okay, I got to do a good job. I got to make sure everything is good. So they're not just making it whatever and not do it, working their best.